morning uh, from the dolphin. It is week seven, day one, assignment 45 minutes, location Crescent Lake, Dolphin, Swan, Yacht, Beach, Boardwalk, Hollywood Studios, International Gateway. This, my friends, is a redemption run. Last time I was here, well, this happened. Primarily, it's really hard to breathe. So there's some sort of chest something happened, so. <coughs> or at least doable. Which turned out to be a little bit of the Rona. So, let's do this and do it better than last time. 45 minutes, here we go. I feel like I didn't get the memo on which way to run this track because everyone else who's running is running the opposite direction that I am. No bet max this time. Terror, terror. All right, we'll go the reverse way. Antimon sounds so good right now. Right direction, clearly just slower. Three miles, 40 minutes. Which means I can definitely get another mile in, plus a little extra. I'm just gonna walk out the rest of this so I can talk to you. So, last week I left you in frustration. Because that seven miles for the first half went solid and great. And my Strava, cut off and I didn't find out until it already probably went another half mile or so and for whatever reason that threw me off because I think I was more upset that I was relying on technology to tell me where I was and how I was doing and because I couldn't I didn't know I don't know how I was doing. So the back half, I just sort of walked it out and went through a lot mentally. So I was very thankful that we have this stay for two nights here at the Dolphin, because I needed some redemption. Because the last time I was here, I had a shitty run too. So. Oh, there it is. We're back on track. 45 today, 45 Thursday, three miles on Saturday. And then next week, we start all over again. See you on Thursday. <sighs> Dopey Diary, hi, welcome back. Uh, of course, we just had uh, Monday out of the Dolphin. Uh, this is Thursday in my neighborhood. Uh, finished the run. Last week, or not last week, but even last last run, last Monday, I thought, man, like I'm out there running and I'm feeling good and I got concerned that I wasn't like getting better or getting faster or like my numbers felt like they were staying the same. And so then today I was like, but then in, obviously in the actual numbers, 
I was, I was getting faster, uh, which was great, but it doesn't feel like it when you're out there. It's the <clears throat> perspective later, I guess. And today's one of those perspectives. Uh, I, I rolled out of bed, I stretched, I knew, knowing that I had to do come out and do this. I wanted to, to do this actually, which was a mind flip within itself. And first mile, 13.02, second mile, 13.30, I think. And the fourth, uh, third mile, 13.58. So all three of my miles in that 45 minutes, um, in 40 minutes, actually, three miles in 40 minutes, which is a miracle, uh, were faster than I'd ever done before, personal PRs. So that's, uh, or PRs, I guess, whatever it's called. Um, and thought struck me while I was out there of just being, and you've heard it, I'm sure you've heard it before in motivational speeches and whatnot, but making sure your will is stronger than your excuses, being stronger than your excuses will change a lot. And that was me today. So this week is definitely redemption, redemption over Crescent Lake, redemption for the doubt that I put in my own head. And I know Saturday is supposed to be 43 uh, miles. Next week I'm in California and next week is nine miles. So I think I'm actually gonna push my long run to Sunday when I have off and do miles, do my nine uh, this Sunday because I don't wanna do nine before work on Wednesday. And I think switching that up is, is, is a good idea. Um, so yeah, on to the next run. Good morning. Uh, it is Sunday, August 14th. Now, the end of this week is supposed to be, as previously mentioned, uh, three miles. However, next week is nine miles a long run, and I will be in California walking nine miles around Disneyland. <laughs> I didn't really think uh, that counted. I decided to do my nine miles today, and that this week is a good, solid plan. So we are just about to begin. Don't know how much I will film, um, but uh, nine miles here we go. <sighs> took my spark, took my O2 gold. So, be breathing, brother. Push some energy. Let's go do some. Let's go. Let's go do this. Okay, I'm just shy of the 4.5, which is the halfway mark. Uh, first hour, just. Just over an hour to four miles. Now, it's proven that I can be faster than that. And I'd like to think, not like to think, I know. If I had gotten out here an hour earlier, when it was about 10 degrees cooler, uh, I think it would have done much better. But the positive thing is, I'm not beating myself up over it. It is hot, there's almost zero clouds in the sky, and the sun is literally uh, right there. So it is beating on my face, and in a second, it's gonna beat down on my back. So I could beat myself up about this all I want, but I'm not gonna, because I'm actually feeling very good, feeling very positive. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna do, you know, we've reached our halfway point, this traffic light. Um, we're gonna turn around and and go back the other 4.5 home let's go do that uh good news is at the seven mile mark i am still two minutes faster than my previous seven miles last week and that was a miserable um run so that's positive still have two miles to go uh the sun is uh is, ah, it's there it is beating on me and I am feeling uh, exhausted. Uh, definitely time, next long run, definitely time to break out the hydration belt because uh, I could definitely use some energy and some water. But still two miles to go, back into the neighborhood and wrap this baby up. I'll also say, I think I've said this before, the trick of an out and back is even when you want to quit, you can't, because you still have to get back to where you started. In this case, my home. So I still have two miles to get home, regardless of how long that takes me. I still have to do the full nine miles. 
So here's a little mental flip for you. Out and back, you gotta complete it. Otherwise, you can't go home. Final clock, nine miles and two hours and 29 minutes and like 50 some odd seconds. It's not what I was hoping for, but it got really hot really fast and I don't want to die. So took that last two miles really slow, probably much slower than I should have. But then I thought back to uh, Princess of 22 earlier this year. We got past like the six, six mile mark. I remember just taking my time and walking all of World Drive. And I still finished that well and plenty of time and with bursts of like energy. So that was April and I'm gonna, I know I'm in a much better physical and even mental place now that by the time, you know, actual marathon rolls around, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. And that car is really hot. Holy moly. Uh, there you go, guys. Week seven done. See you week eight. It's a good day, that's a good day.